Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to Infinite Factory stream number 18. I uh, hope you're all well this uh, Monday night. Happy 5th of November to everybody. Happy Fireworks Day, Fireworks Night, whatever you want to call it over in the UK. Um, but yes, we're back with Infinite Factory. And things are starting to look up. We have got three puzzles left to go. However, I am told Plasma Engine is quite the feat. So um, we'll see how we go. This may be another multi-stream uh, puzzle. Going on, guys. Hope you're well. So, um, yeah, three to go. Getting quite excited that we are actually kind of almost closing in on the end of Infinite Factory here. I wouldn't say I'm getting tired of it by any means, but um, these last, I don't know, probably five, six, seven streams or so have definitely been a long, hard slog. There's no question about it. All right, so. At least we've had a good soundtrack to keep us going. Okay. So what are we doing here? We are putting two engines on some blocks. And then we are surrounding everything around it. With a massive four by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen by four, top and bottom. And then we got a one, uh, one, it's a little bit offset, isn't it? It's a little bit weird to kind of actually see. One, two, th three, four, five, six. And a 17 by six on the back. That's a lot of blocks. It's 34, it's 68 blocks top and bottom. And 17 by six is, I don't know, 38 times three is six. 38? No, 34. 34, 68, 72, 102 on the back, minus the two that we looked like we've got to cut out. So, yeah, where, where we start, man? Seriously. And that's got to be inset into there. And we need then two of them onto there as well. So, all right. Let's get started the best we can. I think we'll probably start off with like this is the easiest part. So, what we're going to do here, I remember from when we had a quick walk around, is we're actually going to weld two of these together, top and bottom. That's our, uh, that's our what's going on, it's Miltry. Welcome along to the stream, buddy. I am very well, thank you. How are you this fine November 5th? You hear fireworks in the background. Um, it's good. It's still going off around here at the moment. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty good, thank you. How the devil are you? even better once we've um, kind of put this into place in perspective. Okay. It's good to hear, buddy. How's the, um, how's the delay for you tonight? I know you've been experiencing a bit of frustrating delay over the last couple of streams. This was five, wasn't it? <laughs> I 
No, it must be six. This is going to be a huge task. Alright, so... This comes to here. And it's on that ledge there. So... What I could effectively do then... I kind of want to move it... This way. So... This is the edge piece, right? And... Okay, so I'm just kind of like playing around here. Nothing yet is set in stone as to what I am going to be doing. to holler out for what's th wait a second it's a three oh that's three all right I, I panic there Unnecessary panic. Alright, so then my plan is is have a wall of these. Just not there. to yeah so what, what I'm basically what I want to do is is take this big block and push it into it and then push it out again in a way <laughs> Let's see what this actually does too high as well. Oh no, it's not. Sorry. I've got to need another one on top of here, don't I? So that would then need to pass in again. So I'd need to lose this block here. Oh, it's only a three. Uh, okay. I'm doing too many. Right, so get rid of this ledge here. I mean, this would need to be, like, supported, kind of, like, almost on here, just so it can pass freely in. on a piston to move them back and out of the way. Okay. Because that creates the hollow insert that I need. So 
then I guess I would need like a double piston. Right. So I can retract it twice. Yeah. I know them feels. So, what I would want is that. Supporting beams and the platforms is your style. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So, these would need to move back to. block first. That's right, isn't it? A piston in the sensor beside you? Uh, whereabouts? Anywhere? Off here? wall here. It needs to be floating. What, so... Uh, do you mean like, I don't know, like this? Interesting. That's, that's clearly not what you mean. Moving one more forward. Um. Okay. How does that work? How on earth does that work? <laughs> That's bizarre. So that's going to be a problem, having that there. Game logic, man. Seriously.
That's how I do it, isn't it? Uh, this is what we, uh, Flame Touch, uh, sorry, Ansmeltry just told me to do. So it's not connected to the wall. here though that's connected to that and it's gonna connect, latch onto the wall so then I would need to move this across again and do something like this but then that's too close to there so I'm gonna need to actually do this instead That's going to connect that up. Two sets, guys. fireworks sound like there was uh, something swung out there <laughs> no I know what I need to do but I just I can't because because I've got two of these next to each other I don't see obviously that won't work but then I kind of need to have a break so I would need to have that and then that next then that joins on there yeah I saw the message on the uh, discord Frank that's what you're gonna be doing buddy making the tutorial level but it's going to be a while until I get to it.
I'm just going to constantly keep changing that because of that, isn't it? What do you mean my, my conduits aren't connected, though? Well, basically what I want to try and achieve is I want to try and push this, this face back here so then I can, like, move this one out. So what, are you saying I need to do... Nope, oh, that ain't working. Tested this. Oh, uh, uh, alright. It is because of the sensor. Alright. Let's say I did test it beforehand and it definitely was doing two blocks. Um, but the sensor stopped it from going all the way in. And then I moved everything back. That's right. Now I'll do two blocks. So I think... I think I might actually be better... Why don't I just use the different... I need to push it on one. That may simplify the process some. So, effectively, what I want to do is oh, I'm going to need. I still need to do two. I still need to do two. have a sensor on top. I wonder actually if it's better just to have a three here. So it comes to here. No, 
it's still got to stamp it in, hasn't it? say I know you're gonna say that out though I didn't I'm I don't know I get so mad with these things still not got around to watching it. It's still in my watch later at the minute, Flame Tusk. I haven't really done a lot of... I've got a massive watch later queue at the minute. I've been off sort of YouTube for a few days, so um, I haven't got around to watching it yet, I'll be honest. lately is like I've been normally when I'm not streaming I, I take my tablet to bed and I catch up with YouTube while I'm in bed um, but I've got heavily into um, Zelda Breath of the Wild so I'm, I'm playing that in bed instead on the Switch so I'm falling massively 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 behind on YouTube stuff I do have a PS4, yes, I do. But if I'm completely honest, my PS4 gathers more dust than anything else. So once the, hold on, once the first one drops in here, I could then technically push these in, right? But then, no, because... Uh, hold on. But then how would I deal with... Yeah, but... It wouldn't work, because I've got to cut it on a dual layer. It's 
six, isn't it? Is it? There's a five. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Okay, so. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to get pushed here. rotate the other way. But let's just see how this pans out a minute. Then here I would have this that. So didn't push it forward though. It's because that's stuck on there. So if I was to then move, say, the sensor to here. So whether or not I can rotate it out again. Should be. I don't see why... why. Ah, it wants to be on the other side. Seeing an issue with it, uh, Flame Tusk? need one of these here. It's good night, Eddie. Welcome on the stream, buddy. Hope you're well. How are you doing this fine, fine evening? The sense that's in the way, I could easily fix that by doing something like if it's just the sensor. that give it enough time though to no didn't give it enough time
see. I don't know if this all. How about something clever? Like... As that goes in, as that goes in, it will then push it away. Thing is, I need. I'm gonna need to rotate it because um, it's not the right direction. You get the gist. No, because maybe I need to do that, but then use vertical ones. Everybody, thanks for stopping by and saying hi anyway. Appreciate it. Have a good evening. Yeah. I got actually, before you go, I picked up another one of your recommended games in the sale. Um, I'm sure it was one of yours. Um, oh, let me look. Before you go, before you go, it is. Cubot. I'm sure that was on your list. I picked up in the sale. It was um, dead cheap. Um, I've been told it gets complicated, real complicated, real fast. So, um, yeah, we'll be playing that at some point. Just uh, thought I'd let you know. Because your puzzle list is still having an effect on me. Let's just get there.
Yeah, it's not. Unless... I think all I need to do, what, what, all I need to do is, I don't think I even need the one on the top. Oh, actually, no. I don't need that connected on there. I need to connect it to the wall. So as that push it across, it will push it on at the right place. I think is what I need to do. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, now... I guess the best thing to probably do then is just to let that drop down there. Just bring it, what, bring it around the, um, the frame, you think? Not yet. I haven't done the holes yet. I haven't done them yet, but I haven't forgotten about them. So, it's going to come along here. It's going to land... So when it comes past here... I'm going to want to do... Thank you. 
Okay, so that will do that. Surely I could do... Need to be. Um, or do I simply just need to do that instead? I am pretty rubbish when it comes to like working out where to rotate pieces. Not gonna lie. There we go. And that puts it back in the right orientation. Just double check that again. So, next thing. So, I've been thinking about, like, the worlds we need to do. And I'm almost thinking do I need to try and weld this to this or if that is a unit together and that is a unit together do I just keep them in position and then just weld them each either to the top or the bottom because surely that would be easier than trying to get a welder to slot in here 
Sports World A to B, right? I think I've already proven though, uh, Flame Tusk, I don't do Piston Cleverness. Knock ain't not got the smarts for Pistons. Take the head of a piston off. What? That would be better. If it was there. be a count of five. No, six, probably six. Nope. 
Why would you even want to do that though? Why would that be... Oh, but because of the rotation... It might only be a count of four. It's just a thing that can be thinged. Maybe I just get rid of all this gubbins. And... I'll just do this instead. position and um it's run that again this game right 40 43 hours of this game and still I pressed the wrong button to pause the cycle Look at that block shower over there it's pretty impressive Okay, so what I'm going to do is come out here and I'll have a welder here and it'll push it down. That's what I'm going to do. Piston. Maybe I just have them here, uh, with sticking out with a welder there and a welder there, and then when we get a signal here, we retract it. Maybe. Maybe that's what we do.
Yeah, it's not going to work anyway. Because that blocks the main thing from coming past. Sensor here, maybe? No. It'd have to be... See, I almost need like two, almost like need two sensors. I think what I'm going to need to do is have a welder here that gets pushed in. But at the same time, I'm going to need to then push this over this side one block to get it moving again.
don't know if this will work. And you guys are probably screaming at me again because I'm like trying to do this thing with conduits and stuff. Mentioning delay flame test now. I don't know. I'm perhaps being completely stupid, but I don't know how I would make a delay. How do I make a delay? Like a, a literally like a couple of second delay. That's all I would want. this but whilst this will work it won't this would work if it fell one over Doesn't that move either? piston from moving is it because the all oh, the conduits joined to the conduits joined to the thingy That's going to move. So, don't want it to move. Boom. I 
Okay. So now... Now I need to move. Yeah. So, one, two, three. Four, five. off the edge. So whether or not that stays open long enough. Let's find out. No. It doesn't. I want it to be delayed, so how can I, how do I delay it? Alright, I'm 
our drone zone together. Uh, back to this problem. This is like massive overkill, I'll be honest. But what if I had something like this? Okay, so this is just me putting this out there. to here. I don't know, this, this is completely and utterly balmy. Like, completely and utterly balmy. I don't even know if it'll work. didn't get a signal. shouldn't be connected, right? <laughs> Alright, so... Should I make this a little bit Bigger. I'll make it one bigger. And then... like crazy like doing that or is, have you guys like come up with similar sort of mechanics like that before for solutions it just seems like the only way to kind of like delay maybe it's like the way you delay things there we go boom okay Boom, 
boom, boom, and let me hear you say way oh. No, please don't. Um, right, so, I'm happy with that for now. Next up, I don't think I want to... I think the next thing I should worry about is the floor on the back. So the floor, the top and the bottom are two 4 by 17 so that's 68 blocks in each. The back, I think I said, was 15, uh, sorry, 17 by 7. Yeah, 17 by 7, which was, uh, no, 17 by 8. So basically, the back is twice the size of the front, which is good, which means I've got four inputs. So two of the inputs can worry on the back, the other two can worry about the floor, creating the floor. So I'm going to take a quick two minute interv intermission to uh, visit the laboratory. And once we get back, we will crack on making the floors and the walls, fingers crossed. So uh, two seconds, guys, I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Apologies for the delay. Um, so I'm starting to feel 
quietly confident about that. This now, I don't know if that's um, if it's a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, so we got just double check one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is Except the fact I need to take this all the way across here. I have to delay a couple of these, aren't I? I really hope so, jeez. That'd be brutal if not. Piling up. Shite. Oh, I gotta come up with a different solution for this. So I'm losing blocks. So. The next plan is then this one. All right, I have to do two sections and then. Then join it. Afterwards, so 
we did in four. that one to there. So take another welder there. And then it's gonna be that. Uh, I'm gonna want to push it there. Actually. Yeah that's not gonna do anything there. Get rid of them. This counter now needs to be four. Okay. No, I need it to be at the same pace, so. It's my fault. A bit of an oversight. Excellent. Why didn't that fall though? Excuse. Oh, it's resting on there. Well, crap. Thank you. 
Okay. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Land on here. Fantastic. Then I can like go off and I can take that to wherever it needs to go. So yeah, that should be good. There we go. Okay, so now with this one. This one, I need to make two identical pieces. So I can either do it It might just be easier to use both inputs to make two lots of things. So it's say it would save space as well. So um might as well just like mimic what we have here. Alright, dumb question maybe, but there isn't a copy and paste function here, is there? Because a copy and paste would make so much, like, make my work so much easier here right now. Just copy the ex exact side. I don't think there is. idea although it's not gonna work is it nope that's where I work so Yeah, 
we're gonna have problems with the input rate. How so? Okay, so bar like the spacing and stuff, that's... That's basically what I need to do. So all of my components now are put together. take this this way because that's going to interfere with this the other thing I'm quite conscious about is this I'm going to have to possibly take it all the way up it's a rather large piece of kit something aren't I because this is too big
All right, so. Let's just turn this around. To do this instead. And then So then when it hits here, we'll have a sensor. And on this sensor, Yeah, I took it off after you mentioned it last time, so I done did. That'll then drop down. Actually, we're gonna need that because it's gonna hit that lifter there. As for the other one, four, and that pushes that one off. I don't need that second one because it will retract. Excellent. Okay.
I'm starting to worry that I'm going to run out of space. Uh, what's going on there, uh, Beetlebub? We are building uh, the plasma engines here. It's the third from last level of the game. Um, and we've got all our components individually built. We're just looking now to actually get everything put together. So yeah, what's going on, buddy? Welcome on the stream. Hope you are well. I'm good, thank you. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, so... This is three deep. So we can sit there and wait. Select tool and move it all down one. Okay. I think we're going to be better off to do the sensor on this side here. I know it'll be a lot of conduit, but um, I just think it makes sense. So once that hits, what will happen is I probably have two. I'll probably have a oh, they crush there. Jeez. So yeah, if I have a wait a second, though, does that just drop or does it? It never actually touches that, does it? So that can just drop. All right. Well, that simplifies things a little bit. So what we'll have? I'll move this back one. We'll put a sensor here. As soon as that sensor hits, it'll open up this gate. Push that onto where it needs to be. And then we can do our weld. On the front end here, we can possibly... where it's going to start to get tricky. So that wants to be all that. We do this with the blocker and the con 
and do it running to the blocker. Like so. Sheer scale of this though, it's quite annoying really because it just like takes so long to like trial just the simplest of things out. When you try and do things like incrementally, it's quite a bind. Alright, failed. It's kind of like a, I'm, I'm going for more of a, a debug as I do kind of scenario. But yeah, there are infinite resources, so we, we don't have to worry about, um, you know, only using a specific number of things. falls into place. Thinking around, yeah, I mean, there's obviously cycle footprint, footprint and blocks, so um, you can make it more efficient. Uh, the lower the score, the better. I mean, it, you don't get anything. You don't get anything different from making a more efficient factory. It's just completely up to you how you want to make your factory. Um, just based on your um, position on the leaderboard, basically. So... Alright, I was umming and ahhing about what I was going to do here. I've made my decision. In that, I am going to do this. Although, actually, it might not be the best idea. I think I'll just keep these bottom ones as fours and so that will mean Yes, that's correct. So this is this is what we are trying to make here. So yeah, we're kind of just like at the final. Well, I said the final stage, but we're kind of like at the stage now where we're just like com constructing all the components together to hopefully make the correct input. So hopefully, so while I'm doing that. So may as well do uh, 
actually. It's probably not the best place to do it, actually. It's also not the right thing to do. I've totally misjudged that, haven't I? It's fine. Don't worry. I mean, if, if if you're not familiar with the game, then you're not to know. So it's, it's totally fine. There are no stupid questions. Only curious people. Okay. That's all well and good. So if I could do this... Then technically, I could do this. I'm kind of chopping and changing at the minute from like the the tops and the side. Um, what this should do is this should, this should push it through. All fully constructed and ready to go. <sighs> Again. I've not learned anything in these 40 odd hours I've played. Jeez. Um, input issue you was referring to earlier on Flame Tusk by any chance? Fantastic. And then I can do need to like lift it now up and get it onto another conveyor I mean I suppose I could actually just take it around here I've got plenty of room here I, I don't need, I, it'll probably be quicker than using the lifters as well all right let's do that then Every time, if you want to test something, you have to run it from the start of the cycle. I 
there's no way to kind of like test something um, incrementally, which is why obviously this is kind of taking a little bit longer at the uh, quite long at the minute because I'm having to like just make adjustments and then do something. So, all right. For now, let's just hold it there. All right, so. This is gonna be, I know we're changing components again, but. Question is, what am I going to do with this one? I need to get on the other side of this, all this stuff. drop it down, bring it underneath, and then lift it up again, possibly. So you can have unit testing, like code-wise. Yeah. It's not quite the same as, uh, it's similar. Are you developing yourself? Beetlebub. So what languages do you uh, develop in? Oh, programming, sorry. I do for I do for a living. I'm a I'm a C sharp developer. That's the level it's got to be. So if I can keep it kind of like this sort of level. Wow, medical assistance. Uh, that's a big career change. That is a big career change. <laughs> what, what made you um what made you want to change career? Well funny enough, I've I've thought recently about um how cool it'd be to like be like do something in medicine. Yeah, it's it's quite a stressful job. It is quite a stressful job indeed. Um well, I work as well. I'm a, um, I'm a one-man department as well, so I, I do everything. I don't have any backup or anything. Everything like falls back on me, so sometimes it's all right, and then other times you're just completely and utterly stretched to your absolute limit, and um, it's tough. It's tough, definitely. They do work from home, so I can't really complain.
Right, well, fortunately, I've got to go a lot lower here than I wanted to go. It's unfortunate. So I've got to clear this other one here. is going to want to be parallel with like this one. I try. I do work. I do work for a company. Um, not a contractor. I used to be a contractor, and um, I, ba I basically, I don't know. I wasn't getting any business, and it was get, it, it was getting a bit dire, to be honest. Um, I, I was, you know, got a family and everything, and, and trying to think of the family, and I just, just. I couldn't survive and sustain being self-employed um, but one of the people I had done some contracting work for he owned an IT company still does own an IT company even um, so yeah I kind of I, I went to work for for him instead so but yeah it's, it's a tough old world out there And uh, yeah, eight years later, I'm still working from home. Which is all good. All right, so it's gonna lift. The thing is though, I, I find as well, it's, um, it's, it's an industry where you, you just cannot stand still for more than like you've got, just got to constantly be moving um the minute you start standing still is the minute you start falling behind with the new technologies of it it's just like a constant I, I i struggle with like the constant learning sometimes you've got to keep like on top of your a game at all times and um for me personally as well working at home Got a young family, got kids, um, trying to like balance a career and family life. It's it's not easy. It's not easy. I'll be perfectly honest, but we carry on. We soldier on because it's what you have to do. But I wouldn't change it for the world. I, I do I think I th I like to th I think I feel like I thrive in high pressure situations so as much as I moan and groan about days where oh, I've got too much work I can't cope I wish I want to do something else I I wouldn't change it for the world I wouldn't change it <laughs> well actually I won't change it but then going back to what I was previously saying um, I've re I don't know recently I've had like lots of um, well, I had lots of like thoughts about I don't know why like going and like being a, doing like paramedics or like doing a paramedic job or something like that, like something like you at like a complete a career change. I have no idea why, but I just feel like doing something like in the ambulance service or paramedic would be like so rewarding. The only downside to that would be I would lose all my my time at the moment where I have to stream and do bits and pieces like that because that's one thing that I am very grateful of working from home oh, shit, enables me to do a lot of streaming and content creation on YouTube so um, I'm very very lucky in that aspect.
Alright, how are we doing here anyway? Let's... Let's recap. Uh, it's gonna have to be... That. We need to clean this up so it doesn't fall down. Like that. Alright, let's try that. Oh, crap. That all fell down. That wasn't good at all. What's not connected to where? That needs to be... to the wall. Uh, no, it's not. That's why it's falling down. Okay. That makes sense. solution. Uh, so medical system, what's that sort of involved then? Is that like, um, it's not like a, like a doctor's role as such, I assume. More of like a kind of junior position or what does that involve exactly? So that's not going to work, is it? If you don't mind me asking, that is, of course. variety of stuff then. Which is, uh, sounds pretty cool. Oh, it needs to go another one higher. Why didn't I see that before? It's quite nice though, because you get like, um, I guess you'll get like a nice variety of work um, if you like doing doing like a bit of everything. It's not just like the same thing all the time. thing you want to be doing is uh, anything like that, definitely. Oh, it's one too far over.
Alright, so we have the bit of luck. <sighs> Alright, so. One thing I forgot about. That's going to be sat there the whole time, right? Probably should tweet a code in the medical field seems quite distant, but once you start thinking into learning the terminology processes. Yeah. Yeah. It's just about, I guess it's just about changing, it, it, it's just about changing the, the, the subject area really, I guess. Um, once you do that, I guess it all kind of like starts to fit together quite nicely. All right, so what I'm going to do here instead is hopefully, I'm going to hold this here. So, if that's being held there, that means here. So, where do I want to do this? Let's think. So, what I've got to do is I've got to push the grey block into it, then move it across. So, I don't actually think... in where I want it to slot in. Just whether or not this segment works. Oh, it's too low. Let's drop down. Crap. Uh, right. Let's try that again. you mean you can there's a if you're talking about the tools there's an area select tool so I can basically draw around the uh, an area that I want to move and then shift it uh, a certain way if that's what you're referring to You 
you, I mean, you basically just start off. All you start off with is um, uh, input and output. That's it. You don't get have anything else. So what you do is it's completely open ended to whatever you want to do. Understand why this isn't. Ratio is totally wrong to not do that. All right, so what if I was to block? All right, Flatus, thanks for hanging out, buddy. Appreciate it. I'll, I won't be long before I'm wrapping this up anyway. Um, to be honest, I've made a lot more progress than I thought I was going to make. You, you guys were making it sound like this would take me just as long as um, the other one we played, uh, Fusion Reactor. Fusion Reactor. Yeah, see, why isn't that? How wide is three wide, right? So I'm going there. Yeah, um, I thought this was going to be as bad as Fusion Reactor, uh, but I feel I've, I feel quite happy about the, what we've done tonight, the progress we've made. So, um, I probably just want to try and get this bit working. I don't even know what the time is. What is the time? Uh, it's just gone past midnight. So yeah, if we could just get this bit working. Uh, that all that leaves me with then is to manipulate the top and the back into position, which hopefully I won't run out of space for. Excellent. I was I was in a panic there because. I thought one, one, two, three. I thought that that wasn't going to fit in the hole, but then I thought, well, actually, I, I give him two solid blocks, and if I can't use the two solid blocks the way I've got them at the minute, the imports are going to be totally screwed. It's only four p.m. <laughs> uh, you must be West Coast America. That, to me, is a thing of beauty. Washing, okay. Why? If, for some reason, I thought. For some reason, I thought Washington was East Coast. Unless Washington State is yeah DC. Uh, my to, to be fair, my American geography is terrible. So, um, yeah. I only kind of know um, east, like northeast, I think, is you've got New York and Boston and um, it's Philly, Philadelphia up there as well. And then southeast, you've got Florida. 
I know that because I went to Dominican on my honeymoon and it's like just off the coast. Um, and then other side, you've got Cali and then somewhere, I don't know. You guys got too many states. <laughs> You're too, too big a country. <laughs> Um, I've got loads of friends over in. I've got loads of like fellow streamers and friends and stuff in in the states, but I, generally I, I don't know. My my American job is just terrible. Okay, so we have all this. Things are looking up. So, here's what I'm going to do next. I'm gonna, well, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to carry on for a little bit. I'm going to carry on because I'm actually from um, I'm actually from Boston in the UK. So um, um, there's a bit of American history in my town given it's where the Pilgrim Fathers sailed from. And to this day, I've sti I I've lived in this town for like the best part of 33 years, apart from when I was away at university. Um, and I've still never been to the Pilgrim Fathers Memorial that we've got in town. I feel, I feel terrible. I, you know, I live in this town and I've not embraced the, the, the history of it fully. Oh, that was right. I can't do that because... Alright, well the thing is... Let's just get to here. I don't need... Need that, do I? I mean, that's just holding and blocking. So I can do that. Okay. So, can I do something like this? thing is, do I need to... The thing is, right, I might not need to weld both of these pieces. Because if that is interlocked in there and the jets are welded onto there, that's not going to move. I don't know. Anyway. Um, possibility there that we may not have to. So here, I'm. So what, let's do this instead. Keep it detached from the main thing here. How many wide is that? One, two, three. So let's set the counter for three. And what should happen is, as that passes through, once it's gone on to across, it should then push these across and weld those two pieces in position, if I'm lucky. I think that if, if if they could improve this game, it would be that you could like just undo a few steps, make some edits, almost like live debugging. 
nothing more frustrating than having to Count to three. Or even just like a rewind. A rewind would be nice. Yeah. I've played quite a few games just recently. Another one I've been pl I've started last week and I'll be continuing tomorrow night um, is a game called Black Hole, and it's um, it's like a it's a it's a hardcore like platforming puzzle game. Why isn't that moving? What's it connected to? There's something that that is connected to that's stopping from moving. It's a hardcore platforming puzzle game. And there's like between three and five collectibles so far in a level, but you've got to do it all in one go. And it's so, it, I found it so, a little, well, not so, but a little bit frustrating that because you have to do the entire level and you just want, like, want to try little bits and pieces out without having to do it. it it's just it, it's so much easier if you can allow players to do things incrementally rather than like punishing them and having to be doing it uh, as a whole, but it is what it is. Okay, sera, sera. Is that not a thing I can do? Maybe I'll do instead then. Do that instead. I just don't know what's not. Yes, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it's like my programming background and, and that I like a challenge, but more often than not, I find that I do kind of, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of constantly um, playing difficult games to like challenge myself. I don't know if it's just like the, the programming in me or, or what, but um, yeah, we, we I'm constantly playing games which are challenging and difficult. All right, so maybe here I need another one of these. So how did I do this before? It was two sensors. knock I know why this wasn't working I didn't connect it up to an output what a dummy um be above thank you very much for the follow I appreciate it 
Also, Chorlton Dragon, thank you very much for the follow. Very much appreciated, guys. Welcome along to the community. You guys are awesome. Thanks for coming and hanging with me tonight. Alright, I just want to get this bit, like, locked down. If I get this bit locked down, I think I'm happy to call it a night. And we can finish this off when we return to it for the factory next week. <laughs> I am a dumbass. I just, it's just like, I don't know. It's one of those moments where, as a, as a programmer, you can probably, um, sim, sim, not sympathize, 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 I can't say the word, sympathize that something is wrong and you are spending a ridiculous amount of time trying to find the solution only to find it is something really, really simple. The amount of times it's like you've misspelled a variable or you've done something silly like that. The amount of days wasted. Alright, so I will do what I was doing instead. So that's going to push that one out. Like that. <laughs> They're just simple things that are like, like just literally going away for, you know, or coming back to it on the next day. And then you see it straight away. And it's just such a frustrating thing about programming. You waste all that time racking your brains, pulling your hair out, trying to work out why it isn't working and why something you're, you're so sure is right isn't working. And then you come back to the next day, oh yeah, I, I didn't do that. Well, I'm, I'm so stupid. <laughs> the joys of programming. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, so I'm going to do that. That. And get a little bit higher. Don't want to join them conduits up though. Those ones I do. We'll put a block there. There we go. All right. So to extend it all. We'll see. Oh! Fiddlesticks. I think with this though, it just gets to a point where you're almost like rushing through, and then I miss like the obvious things. So, it's all good. All right, is it joined as one? It is. Is it joined as one? Uh, no. Well, that's not joined. That's okay. I can live with that. So, what is left? What time is it? 22. 12.22. I think I'm just going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. No, not time for sleep. Two, three, four. So it wants to go on here. And it wants to go to there. Okay. 
So I may need here. I may need something to stop it from moving temporarily. Depends how it falls in regards to like the other positions and the other pieces. I'm so close though, Charlton Dragon. I'm so close. I, I'm just thinking now. I'm just thinking I can't give up now. I cannot give up now. So. Then, once this has dropped, all I need to worry about is dropping the roof on, moving it into the exit, and we are done. We are done, done, done. Two puzzles away from completion. Oh, yes. So now... I need to do something different with the roof. Also... it across another one then had a piston which was holding that in place I could drop the piston uh, no so do Maybe I lift it up. Maybe I lift it up.
Okay. This one comes in. Falls down there. So once that hits there, I need a trigger. Some sort of trigger. Which will move this across. It needs to go across one. I just probably just could do it. Do you know what? That's going to be fine, actually. I just hold it there. It will move itself across. And if I put one on top of here, it will move it down to there. Then I weld it. It's just all whether or not it falls in time. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five. Let's be on that level. I haven't got nothing to hold it in position though at the minute. That's, that's an issue. This needs to be one over. The hardest part with these puzzles is just the sheer scale of like what you've got to build and the area you've got to build it in. So, once this hits, when do I need to move it across? One, two, three. Position. Almost there. We're almost there. All 
All right, so quick check. So I want a sensor here. Um, once that sensor triggers, We're on the home stretch. there. Alright, that's, that's, um, stink. Could be easy enough to fix. Don't panic, Mr. Mannering. Base layer is here. The sensor wants to be here. I think. I think. But I think that's going to get early release, isn't it? I think the top is going to get early release. I may have to. Uh, I, I may have to. As much as I don't want to, I may just have to leave this one until we come back to this. If, until we come back to Infinity Factory next week. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, baby. Yes. Yes. What's going on, Paul Punky? Welcome on to stream, buddy. 
you join me. In what I hope will be the final moments of this puzzle. This is the problem. Why did you have to say you believed in me, Paul Ponky? <laughs> no, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to come back to it with a fresh head next week. And... Um, I need to rework this section here, which lifts up the roof section. But... It's how I do that. Because I would need to do I would almost need like a double pusher Then that pusher will go underneath there, so that won't actually help me. So my double pushes would need to be here.
It would have to do something like this, I think. But then that's joined. So then I'd have to do something like... Oh man, there's so many pipes here. Do something like that. That should work. It's whether or not the signal's on long enough, though, then to activate the second pusher. That's the only thing. Now, did that get pushed because of this? Or because of that? That would be counterable by and so many conduits. Doing something like this. Possibly, so it's like working on two sensors. Might work. miss what's happening there. It's bad that you're like, just standing here. You don't hear all them welders going off like that. I suppose like sound travels though. The, the distance between that and that. Honestly and truthfully, this is this is it. If this doesn't work, I gotta turn off. I gotta go to bed, man. I gotta go to bed. I gotta be up in six hours, so yeah. All right, so I need to work on 
adapting that solution. Um, that could work if I can get it to like stay on a little bit longer. Um, I mean, this is like a big conduit mess here. But um, we're close. We are very close. We just need to iron out the kinks and um, we will be done. But um, thank you very much, guys, for tuning in. Thank you very much for the new follows. I appreciate the support, um, as always. Um, links on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back tomorrow night playing some Black Hole, which is a hardcore puzzle platformer if you want to come and check us out. Uh, Saturday night, we will be playing Final Fantasy VII New Threat Mod. And Infinite Factory will return next Wednesday. Um, next Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. GMT. Now that we're back on GMT, not BST. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, your afternoon, your evening, your morning, whatever time of day it is for you. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. See ya. <laughs>